finally back with a new video. First product I'm using is Roxanne Rizzo's Bronze Glow. I have a coupon code for it below. I use this to kind of give a glow to my skin, maybe feel a little more tanner. Mm -hmm. We're going to do brows, and I'm going to use the Brow Definer in Medium Brown by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Starting with the back of the brow and then going towards the front, building it up. But I just want to say I miss you guys so much on here. I am so happy to be back and filming again. I've just been so busy with work. Um, so I'm happy to be doing this again and filming and being with you guys and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm going to do the other brow the same way. Also, if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys want to see next, I do have a plan to do a no mirror makeup challenge. I feel like that'd be fun. But if you guys have any other suggestions on what you want to see, you can comment that below. This is at the brows. I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I'm just really focusing this on the ends and just kind of curling or brushing them up. I don't know why I said curling. But I'm going to conceal my brows as well with the Morphe Angled Brush and the NC25 Studio Finish Concealer from MAC. I'm just going to outline the brow and then I'm just going to push down towards the eye area to blend it out. This is a really good full coverage concealer. I can't really use it on my under eye though because it is a little bit too drying. Um, but I do love cream concealers to conceal the brows with. If you guys have any other suggestions for a cream concealer, I would very much appreciate it because this does dry out my underbrow a little bit so eh, not too crazy about it. Prime my eyes I'm using Painterly as always and then I'm going into the Violet Voss Mad About You palette and I'm using a Makeup Addiction brush to go in with Mad Love. This is just going to be our transition color and I'm just going lightly back and forth windshield motions and going into the crease and just kind of giving that crease a little bit of depth. I always try to start with a neutral, not too warm and not too cool kind of color for the transition. Just because I don't like immediately start starting with a gray, like this kind of shade, I just feel like I could look too, like I got punched in the eye. I like to kind of uh, transition those colors. So now I'm taking that Morphe brush and I'm going into the crease a little bit more with this color, the Beloved. And you can see it'll just transition a little bit better, less harsh, and you can see that I'm following the shape of my eye, the whole bone structure. Getting into the groove of that cut crease wave. And I'm taking Adorbs and doing the same thing. I believe this is a Morphe brush that I'm going back and forth with. And just deepening that color deepening that crease and you can see that I'm just going back and forth and creating that wave or that line in the cut crease. Now I'm going to go in with Sweet and I'm going in with a more short and sturdy brush. I think this is from Sigma and I'm going back and forth with Sweet and just darkening that area going towards the inner corner as well and dragging it out like as if I'm doing a wing liner. I'm just going back and forth. We are going to clean it up so if it's not super neat I wouldn't worry because we really are going to clean it up with that metallic shadow coming up. And as I keep going I'm going to blend with some clean brushes just to make sure that transition is super smooth. I hate harsh lines and you should too. So, But now I'm going to take Me Amore and this precise eyeliner brush and I am just going to go back and forth and really deepen this crease. I know it's a, like a million steps to this but you really have to let the process happen. It's just kind of you need patience definitely with the cut crease, I will say. After doing it for, you know, a bunch of times and still learning, especially how to do it and perfecting it in certain ways, it definitely does take patience and with makeup I feel like I really do have patience, you know, you know. But now we're going to move on with the Meron Metallic Powder. This stuff is liquid gold or lavender in this case. 
and I'm using the Ameron Mixing Liquid and the Cut Crease E62 brush from Sigma, the most genius brush that they have ever made, besides the Kabuki brush. But anyways, I'm just going to follow that line that we created with Mia Moore and just fill it in, basically filling in the lid. And this is the easiest part. You just want to make sure that you line it up pretty neatly. But if you do mess up, you always can fix it, which is the good part. Because actually the metallic liquid or metallic powder really does clean up very easily, I will have to say. But I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I'm gonna go back in with me more and you know the other purple colors and just blend everything out just so it looks nice and smooth. But this really is just like the most beautiful base that you can put on. And here you'll see me just go and deepen up the crease with me more. Just so it has a lot more depth in the eye. And if you guys have never used Makeup Addiction brushes before, I do very much recommend them. They were probably one of the first brushes that I've tried besides like MAC or something simple like that. Um, but they were the first brand that, one of the first brush brands that really reached out to me and uh, I love their quality and brushes. For liner, I'm using Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. Sorry, excuse my dog. In Trooper. And I don't know how I do this, but I never get my liner on video. It's, I think I bend a certain way or what happens, but I'm just doing a basic wing following along the line of the big wing that I made with the lid. For mascara, I'm using Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes Mascara in the unicorn version. What a beautiful packaging, Tarte. Kudos to you on that. I love packaging. Sometimes I love the packaging more than the actual product. It's kind of crazy. For lashes, I'm using the Gigi Bell Lashes in Gianna. These are launching June 25th, you guys. I'm going to put the information below and where you can follow to get some updates on them. I'm so, so excited to be sharing these finally with you guys. It's been a long, it's almost been like a year really creating these, so it's just been a very long process and I'm so finally happy to be, you know, sharing them with you guys. Here is the box. It's like rose gold and pink and black and a very simple design for my first lash box and I'm just so excited. Yay! I'm so excited. Okay, moving on to the face. I'm using Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. This has become one of my favorites so far in the primer section. And I'm using a Morphe foundation brush to put on some Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation in tan. I'm just going to blend this around and you guys will see my case and my phone uh, because I was filming my live glam takeover if you guys didn't know I do that every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you guys didn't know I do that on snapchat on their takeover and I'll put that information below as well if you want to catch me on those I'm going to use the shape tape concealer by Tarte as always in medium and I'm just going to really lather myself in it because this is like a really heavy makeup tutorial, I feel like. For contouring, I'm using the Clay Stick Foundation by Tarte in Rich Brown. And I'm just going to contour the usual areas, the nose, the forehead, the cheekbones, and the jaw. What an easy blend foundation consistency man it is just such an amazing formula and I'm obsessed with how it blends into the skin and I love the way it is for contouring and foundation I used it for concealer once but I wasn't too crazy about it but for foundation and contouring it's amazing I'm now blending everything out with a 3d HD blender by Sigma my I think this is I'm safe to say this is my holy grail sponge I was obsessed with the Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge, but they changed it and I still haven't tried it yet. I still have one left. I'm like saving it for like a rainy day. I don't know. But right now, for a sponge that is available, 
and, you know, stays in its present shape without changing. I really, really love the sponge. It's just amazing. And it just really helps to blend out the foundation without taking too much product away. The only thing I will say is make sure it's damp, but really make sure that you get, if you do wash your sponges, and I really, really hope that you do, just make sure that you do grab all the soap out of it because sometimes it can mix in with your foundation and then the foundation kind of goes away sometimes. That's happened a couple of times for me, but I just really try to make sure that I really thoroughly cleanse the sponge, making sure all the soap is out. For my nose contour, I just wanted to use the Cover FX um, contour kit and just use shade 1 to really contour my nose. And if you guys want to know an in-depth tutorial on that, I do have one on my channel. For baking and setting, I'm using the Kat Von D Lock Setting Powder in Translucent. Probably my favorite powder right now to set. I'm doing the under cheekbone area as well. And if you guys keep seeing my case, I do have a code for you for Velvet Caviar. It's GF15. I'll put all of the stuff down below so you guys can check that out. I love those cases. So cute. Just curling my lashes together just so they are nice and blended. And then I'm using these two shades from the Anastasia Blush Palette in Pool Party. And I'm using an F10 from Sigma to put this on. I've been really feeling the pink blushes lately. And then I'm going to bronze and blend with the Capri Coast Blonde bleh, Bronzer by Becca. And I'm using an F23. I'm just kind of blending it out and then I'm just taking a I think this is a spotlight duster from Sigma and I'm just blending all of the baking powder out and then blending the entire face just to make sure the bronzer is smooth and the blush as well now I'm taking this little pencil brush and I'm going in with sweet and adorbs and just smoking out the lower lash line I wish I got the name of this brush, but I will look it up for you guys. Now I'm using the iJules Glitter Liner from Tarte. I was so excited to do this. You don't have to do this part, but I feel like it really makes this look stand out. And I saw that it was just such a trend on Instagram and on YouTube tutorials, and I just really loved the way it came out. It is a little hard. You have to be really careful how you place it. I think I might have or should have used a different brush, but it worked out. I cleaned it up pretty well. And then I'm adding some mascara on the lower lashes. And for highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette in Aurora. And I'm using Luna and Spectra with a Morphe M501 brush. I'm going to wet it with some setting spray and wha-bam! That highlight is insane. And I just love the purple tint. It just goes with the eyes and it's just very spacey. Space astronaut feels. But I'm just really feeling it. And I just love how crazy pigmented it is and it's just, oh, really popping off my skin. And for someone that doesn't wear makeup too often, only when I film or when I go out or stuff like that, it was just really refreshing to wear some makeup again and even though it was like you know a lot of it I didn't mind because sometimes when you don't wear it a lot it just you miss it I also put spectra on the inner corner to brighten that up so pretty and for lips I'm using a plum lip liner by Mac and I'm just putting this all over Mac liners are probably one of my favorite liners besides the Highly cosmetic liners. But those are the two liners that I really love. For lips, I'm using the new metallic lipstick in Rose Dip by MAC. This is a beautiful shade. I love their new metallic lipsticks. They are really, really beautiful. MAC lipsticks will always be one of my favorites because, you know, as a MAC or MAC alumni girl, whatever you want to call me, I will always love their lipsticks. 
To set the look, I used the Locket Setting Spray by Kat Von D. Stole some from my sister because I've never tried it before and I really, really do love it. But this is the look, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you have, be sure to thumbs it up and to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm so happy to be filming again, you guys. I missed you and I hope you've missed me too. And I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.